Algebra 1, Unit 2B Study Guide, number 7, 8, and 9. So we're going to solve and graph some one-step inequalities. Remember that we're going to solve these like we would an equation, except for one difference, is that if we have to multiply or divide across the inequality by a negative, then we're going to switch that, reverse that inequality sign. So the first thing we're going to do to get x by itself, subtract 7 from both sides. So we'll have x is greater than negative 22. So if we graph that, we'll put an open circle at negative 22. x is the shaded area, so we need all that shaded area to be everything greater than negative 22. Number 8, if you have $20 to buy tunes for your phone, and each costs 99 cents, write an inequality that shows the situation. So we'll let x be the number of songs that you could buy. So we've got 99 cents per song, or multiplied by your number of songs. We know that 20 is our limit. So that means what we spend needs to be less than it could be equal to, it usually won't, but let's go ahead because it could be exactly 22. Now if we were to solve that, you know, we would just divide each side by 0.99. So x would be less than or equal to 20.2 songs, uh, but we wouldn't want to buy a 0.2 of a song. so we could say 20 songs. Now if we were going to graph that, we could have less than or equal to 20. We would want to stop at 0. Since it's a real life situation, we wouldn't have that graph go into the negatives. Number 9, Tyson needs to study a minimum of 2.5 hours outside of school each week to master the math concepts that he's learning. Tyson has already studied one hour this week. Write an inequality that represents how much more time he has to study. So this is the time, that's the unknown, the time that he has to study. He has already studied an hour this week, so we'll add that hour on to the time that he is, has to study. And then a minimum of two and a half, so that means that his time studying needs to be greater than or equal to two and a half. So the time study minimum, so that means the minimum is two and a half, so this has to be greater than or equal to 2.5. And then we could just subtract that hour off. So since he's already studied an hour, he just has this week needs to study at least an hour and a half. 